No one in clockwork is gonna miss the scrap I'm requesting. But to us, these supplies are worth their weight in gold. Mindora, a rare exception to my general hate of mages, discovered that the rune stones here have magical gunk coated on them. You'll need a rune light to figure out where the stuff is sticking, but from there you should be able to just scrape it off. Just another mystery of clockwork I don't understand. Oh, and you'll need to get us more rune lights. You'll find them behind this strange portal, not quite sure where it leads. Everyone but Mindura was too afraid to go in, so you'll have to ask her. Don't go killing yourself, you hear? Who else would I get to run around clockwork for us? Slagtown, home of the Tarnished. The oil-covered slums of our gleaming city where the poor and forgotten try to hobble together a home. Folks around here call me Mayor. Not an official title, of course, but I'll take it. Even in this ever-gleaming city, there will always be those who are thought of as lesser. Can't sling a spell or work with gears? You're already coming up short. The residents of Slagtown, though, we're lower quality than even those folks. Various reasons. We're orphans, degenerates, castaways. Abandoned and disgraced. No respectable trade to call our own or fancy shop to watch over. Put simply, we're unwanted. A spot of rust on the shiny brass of clockwork. Came upon the position naturally. I look out for people. Always have. It's up to me to keep stock of what supplies we have and try to get someone to help us find more. I'll even petition the Apostles if the need around here gets too great. Ah, uh, never much, truth be told. They'll deliver medicinal supplies sometimes, or increase our daily water allowance. Once or twice I even convinced them to send a factotum for repairs, but that was more of a pain in the arse than it was worth. It's true our bellies never go empty, and I'm thankful for that, but... Slagtown can't live off of gruel and a thin blanket. We work hard to get by on our own, and these supplies are needed to do just that. I'll admit, though, it can be dangerous work. <laughs> Maybe you haven't been here long, but I'm sure you noticed that clockwork isn't the safest place in Tamriel. You'll have to go through some dangerous spots to collect these supplies. But hey, you look like you can handle yourself. Well, depends on who you're asking. To me, most definitely. These supplies can drastically improve the quality of life here. It stops our little ones from shivering and helps our sick recover. It's worth every piece of gold I offer. Greetings. I assume you spoke to Razgaruk. Charming fellow. A pity that the Apostles left him to rot down here. Honestly, Slagtown's full of untapped potential. Speaking of untapped potential, you're here to ask about the runic residue, correct? Of course. The Clockwork City provides an abundance of magical substances, but the people of Slagtown have very little access to them. We're forced to improvise using rune lights to find the arcane residue that accumulates on local rune stones. What am I? I am standing in solidarity with the impoverished and oppressed while Sotha Seal and his clockwork cronies bathe in opulent splendor. These people live hand to mouth every day. Soon, the entrenched lower class will rise up very soon. If necessary, yes. People can only toil in silence for so long. Sotha Seal may be a god, but even a god can be made to listen. Clockwork City isn't just his plaything. We live here. It belongs to everyone. I... <sighs> Sorry. I get carried away sometimes. Divining tools. They emit a faint glow, much like a mage light. The difference is that this glow shows us where residue accumulates. It shines like ice in the moonlight. A very recent discovery for me, ever since that portal showed up in the radius. I was the only one willing to enter it, but I found a mysterious realm. I believe it may even be a plane of oblivion. Well, it doesn't benefit me to study it further, but the Apostles may know more, if you've the patience to deal with them. Quite a bit. This plaque adheres to the rune stones. Over time, it takes on some of the stone's inherent potency, aspect, or essence. Just a trifling amount, mind you. But we really don't need that much. 
Our enchantments are purely practical. Indeed. We use it to keep metal from corroding, blankets from fraying, that sort of thing. It helps keep our souls sturdy, our ropes taut, and our clothes clean. Well, cleaner. You know what I mean. On the move. Mm, good quality there. just realized I'm a long way from cleaning the stables. No pleasure in killing, but I'm glad we're alive and they're not.
Please tell me you have our supplies. I can't take any more bad news today. No excuses, just results. I knew I liked you, Hotshot. I'll be sure to tell Mindura that we have more of this in stock. It's scrap compared to actual glyphs, but we make do with what we can get. As soon as something comes in, I'll let you know. Take a breather for now. Things keep going this well, and we'll have enough stockpile to keep us good for years. Still willing to help? Alchemy plants aren't exactly easy to come by here, and once we get some, we tend not to let them go to waste. That's where the alchemical satchels come in. They can keep the plants fresh for years. Have Burl trim a wheel and tell you more if you got questions. Now these satchels work, but they turn the plants so bitter no one will drink the tonics Av Burl makes. We found a sweet syrup in the wellspring that makes them tolerable, but you'll have to deal with the patrol factotums. Still interested? You get me those supplies, I get you a reward. Simple as that. Y y you're the one who's gathering up my satchels, right? T t try not to handle them for long. That smell is impossible to wash off. They're a wonder. The apostles never bothered to research them, since they use machinery to treat their ills. But we, we don't have fancy things like that down here. Still researching their origin, how they're m made and whatnot. Coughs, f fume headaches, black belly, lots of things. Sothaseel never meant for anyone to live down here. Anyway, my t tonics ward off most of it. Pity I can't as e easily c c cure this stutter. Right. The satchels work wa wonders, but they make the plants taste... well. They taste like something that fell out of a fabricant's bum. The syrup helps. Now it just tastes like a handful of t dirty coins. Better than nothing, I guess. I w will warn you, the Everwound wellspring is... Supposed to be off limits. Occasionally, someone is brave enough to sneak in and grab some f f fresh food, but it's a dangerous place. Just try to be careful, all right? Quality there.
poor Honda. I'm going to miss sharing the task. Together! battle we can walk away from, eh? I've got a lot of people asking about those supplies. Give me some good news. Thanks for taking the time to get the syrup as well. The little one stopped raising a fuss once we began adding it to the tonics. A bit of sweet always helps. You've done Slagtown a great service. I hope you work with us again. I don't got nothing for you right now, but check back, you hear? No one in clockwork is going to miss the scrap I'm requesting, but to us, these supplies are worth their weight in gold. I'm not bluffing when I say the puddles around here can help fuel fires. Leaps over Thistle, genius she is, made a skimmer tool that collects machine oil from the water. The collection process is pretty painless, but there's a bit of a catch to the request. The skimmer requires a specific kind of wire mesh, and we've only been able to find it in the halls of regulation. Leaps Over Thistle will need more of the stuff if we want to continue collecting. 
She can tell you more about the process if you're still willing. Uh, need something else? My mayor-like duties have me pretty busy. I hear Razgurik asked you to help us skim the synthetic oils out of Sotha Seal's waters. I thank you for your assistance. Do you have any questions? Of course. We use scavenged alchemical tools to filter out clumps and impurities. Once we distill the remaining fluid, we add it to other substances to make many important things. Fuels, lubricants, even cooking oil. Dangerous? Well, I suppose so. But even clean water can kill a dry skin when it fills the lungs. This oil is everywhere. In the water, in the machines, likely in our blood also. I would not trouble yourself with worry. That is a good question. The clockwork god's machines belch smoke like a peat bog belches gas. And the metal men bleed oil when wounded or left to rust. Eventually, all moisture makes its way to the sea, or cisterns and ravines, in this case. I did. Life in Slagtown makes inventors of us all. Ironic, since many of us fell into poverty because we did not invent enough. The Apostles will tell you that creativity is the greatest virtue. In Slag Town, it is not a virtue. It is a necessity. What did you find?
Your prowess was befitting a knight. Well done. Did you finish the request? Your reward has been burning a hole in my pocket. Oh, you've done Slagtown a great service, Hotshot. You don't know how hard it can be to watch the little one shiver at night. Take this reward and my thanks. I hope you'll choose to work with us again. I'm glad you want to help, but don't work yourself sick. Take a break. I've got good honest work for good honest pay. Helping out Slagtown is just the gravy on the gruel. You got a knack for mining? The ores in Clockwork have veins of something we call Flashstone. It's thought to be worthless by most, but Dooldrar Balan has developed a way to grind it into an incredibly useful powder. Well, there's a bit more to it. You'll also need to gather the metal pellets used to help with the grinding process. We can only find the darn things in the fundament. Bellin would be happy to talk your ear off about it if you want to know more. Uh, need something else? My mayor-like duties have me pretty busy. So, you're the one swinging a pick for me, right? Good. Uh, we need more Flashstone. A lot more. Uh, and did Razgurug tell you about the pellets? Y you'll have to speak up, mate. Uh, my ears are mostly decorative. But not for blowing things up, if that's what you're worried about. <laughs> I promise you, my days of blowing things up are over. We use the pellets to grind flashstone into a flammable powder that lets us cut pipes. Weld them, too. Useful stuff. Oh, I've had a lot of practice handling explosives. The fact is, this whole city is a keg of fire salts. Most of the fluids you see are at least semi-flammable. Many of the gases are highly volatile, too. Damn near a miracle the place is still standing. Gutting the... Oh, cutting. Right. <laughs> well, we have to. We don't have any discharge valves down there. If we need water or wind-up, we have to cut into the lines. Then, eventually, we have to seal them back up. Facts of life in Slagtown. What? Oh, oh the ears? Yeah. Yeah, I spent about a year studying the explosive properties of certain ores in an enclosed space for 12 hours a day. I wouldn't recommend it. I gathered up all my coin and bought a tiny clockwork Amplivox to help. Oh, I, I lost it, of course. Fell right out of my ear while I was leaning over a balcony. <laughs> the apostles don't have much patience for a deaf artificer's aid. Got pushed out of the basilica and wound up here. So... Yeah, earplugs. Use them.
prowess was befitting a knight. Well done. I'm with you, my friend. Huh, that could be helpful. Sendar sees safely to your rest. battle we can walk away from, eh? Please tell me you have our supplies. I can't take any more bad news today. Good work, Hotshot. You have my thanks. If only those brass buffoons knew how useful this stuff can actually be. Don't go spreading rumors, though. We don't want anyone else cutting into our supply, right? As soon as something comes in, I'll let you know. Take a breather for now. Job orders have been going great. Lots of supplies collected. Of course, we could always use more. Arvia needs more of the metal strands that are weaved into the clothing of clockwork. You can find odd bits of the cloth in the wilderness, and we'll supply you with a specialized lodestone that attracts the strands. Well, we can't collect the strands without more lodestones, and the one Arvia created attracts the stuff like nothing else. You'll find the parts needed in the mnemonic planisphere, but be careful. I've heard there's trouble about there lately. Uh, need something else? My mayor-like duties have me pretty busy. <laughs> Razgarug's got you looking for metallic fibers? Good. The air in Slagtown's not getting any cleaner. Most don't like to talk about it, but Slagtown's air is poison. 
top side, the factotums rotate air filters constantly, but not in Slagtown. So I pick up the slack. Turns out the metallic fibers weaved in clockwork clothing make great air filters. Oh, sure. Can make abrasive scrubbers out of them, armor lining, cables, hazard masts, all kinds of things. Of course, by the time I've replaced all the filters, I rarely have more than a handful left. It's maddening. Ah, that. Quite a wonder. See, when you switch it on, metal scraps stick to it like tar to a glove. I'd love the thing if it didn't break so damned often. If you gather the parts I need, I can keep it working and maybe even make new ones. Like most things in clockwork, our clothing is given to us by Seth's grace. It's hard to notice at first glance, but our manufactured cloth is woven with metallic threads. Still not sure why, but hey, don't mock the polish of a gifted spring. Once you take out the metallic threads, the entire cloth begins to unravel. And trust me when I say, the clothing we have is already threadbare as it is. There's plenty of discarded scraps in the radius for my needs provided we get the proper help. Looking forward to seeing what you make with that. I'll stand there.
some assistance. Awareness rating 94. Are you content, Lord Sophocleo? Is there anything I can retrieve for you? Together have taught me so much. The multiplanar mnemonic receptacle should be stable enough to maintain form. Please tell me you have our supplies. I can't take any more bad news today. Excellent! You've helped many of my citizens today. There should be a few less coughs once we get more filters set up. Be sure to stop by again for another request. I don't got nothing for you right now, but check back, you hear? Things keep going this well, and we'll have enough stockpile to keep us good for years. Still willing to help? You never realize how much you need glue until you go without. Lucky for us, Njordamar figured out a way to extract some sort of sap from wood husks found in clockwork. Not quite sure what the stuff is, but it sticks scrapped together like nothing else. Issue is, we gotta keep the sap warm, or it becomes useless. We've discovered a type of coal that does the trick. You'll need to go to the reactor district to find it, but it's the only thing that stays hot long enough. Njordamar can tell you more. Don't go killing yourself, you hear? Who else would I get to run around clockwork for us? So you're my forester? Where I hear it, lumbering in the clockwork city is a lot less satisfying than it is on the outside. Feels like, I don't know, chopping a writing slate wrapped in tin. Eh, you'll get used to it. That I am. The more the better. You can peel the husks off just about any hunk of wood you find. Collecting the coals might prove to be a bit trickier. But you're keyed in and wound tight, right? <laughs> Shouldn't take you long at all. In Slagtown, nothing goes to waste. I found a way to scrape a loose adhesive out of the husks. You might call it resin. Sticky as Arvaya's boots do, and great for sealing gaps. It's for the bark. I use it to make dyes, furniture, lots of things. Turning the sap into glue requires a lot of heat. If you let it cool for too long, it crystallizes, but then it's worthless. These coals burn for days. They don't need stalking and keep a steady heat both day and night. They're perfect for the job. I did. Just be careful with it. 
The teeth are as sharp as Merun's razor, and the motor's a little temperamental. <laughs> One thing, if it starts to smoke, just drop it and find cover. I'm not saying it's going to explode, but it might explode. Good quality there. they do for fun around here we're cranked without those supplies give me something to smile about well done you've earned your gold today I'll make sure to let Njordamar know we have more sap in stock he's been wanting to try out a new adhesive bandage he's thought of not that I'll be volunteering anytime soon for that particular experiment I'm glad you want to help but don't work yourself sick take a break 